What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. We're going to take a quick look at the squad that I had at this time Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Randy Moss, and we had just made an upgrade to Night Train Big Dick Lane, but um, he didn't last that long. You can see his stats right there with a 92 speed, with a 93 Excel. He wasn't the guy that was going to make it through with this squad. Obviously, um, you know, I really wanted him to work because of his name, but it just wasn't going to work out, bro. The dude is a bum, but. We're going to bring him into this gameplay. We're going to see how he makes out. This game was pretty decent, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy, he wasn't bad. Um, I didn't know at the time that he was top 10. Uh, but he played, uh, you know, he was very, very um, aware of what I was trying to do to him. It was just that he tried a lot of things and he just couldn't stop the blitz. Like, Deion Sanders is a savage. I keep trying to tell everybody. And if you watch the, um, you know, the Madden Challenge, um, you know, recently, they just, you know, Beast, what is that? Beast Mode Mac just won it. Um, he took care of Skimbo accordingly after... Uh, who is that? Uh, Rico. Rico picked Skimbo to win. Yeah, yeah, that dude Rico's the goat. If you don't know about Rico, bro, that dude, if he wish you to win, bro, you're gonna definitely lose. In the mo for the most part, for the most part, you're gonna lose. But um, it was just, it was a really, really good day for Madden to see some of the guys come out there and compete. Again, shout out to Beast Mode Mac. Um, a very, a very, very credible win because I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't pick him to beat Skimbo after Skimbo was just spanking everybody. But yo, that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is, um, you know, this guy was running around with McNabb. And just throwing dots to start the game. And um, there's a lot of routes that develop like that um, in various playbooks. The Steelers, they have it in the um, the Cardinals. Like, you know, it's a lot. Just put it like this. You just got to find the routes, bro. Because if, if you get a guy running a route for a certain amount of time, the computer just stops paying attention to that route. You know, that's been going on since Madden 16 for the most part. You know, in other Maddens... Oh, he missed that field goal. Okay. Yo, good stuff by this guy. Um, in other Maddens, there were always routes that were, like, glitchy. But... It's pretty new to the fact that everybody just runs away from their zone with specific plays. And, um, you know, it has gotten better, though. I, I got to give EA Sports credit with that. See, last year, it was like, look, if you had a streak going in bunch and any other route doing anything else, everybody would just run with the streak and just everything else would be open. Oh, yo, bro, why, what, yo, what is this idiot Matty Ice? Yo, this dude Matty Dry Ice is playing like he's in the goddamn Super Bowl. You like that dual edge right there, bro? Yo, we coming right up in the, yo, get him. Come on, yo, that should have been a fumble, but like I said, um, you know, it's a very, very difficult thing to adapt to, but like I said, it's April right now, so what is it, April, so that's that's four, so we got four more months until Madden 18. Now, a lot of you guys are excited about the Frostbite engine, um, we're going to see what happens with it. Like I said, a lot of the things that have been going on within the game, I believe has, you know, caused the, oh, rack drop? Okay, look, the, the patches have kind of altered the game um, the same way that they did in Madden 16. We have to be honest about that fact, but we're gonna be able to see exactly um, what we can do to help out with Madden 18 because I believe that they're gonna have, you know, like they did last year, the demo out for specific people. Um, hopefully I can be one of those individuals. I'm gonna reach out and see what I can do about that. But there are things that just have to be fixed up. And the game, I'm telling you right now, a lot more people, even the novices, even the guys that are bums right now that are getting away with whatever they do, just throwing the ball in the air and holding the wide, they will still play the game because it's going to be a beneficial thing for you to actually lab. You see, look, the thing about it is some dudes come out, and I know like somebody's going to like the video right now when I say this. You'll play an opponent that'll come out and not know how to swerve or anything, just throw the ball up in the air and hold, hold triangle or Y, whatever, if you're on Xbox or PS4. Have you played a guy like that? Like the video if you have. Yo, pick that out. And that's, that's what the issue is. You see, Madden 15, as much as people hated it because, you know, the play action end around and all the other kind of stuff that's going on, I call it play action reach around. You, what in the heck? How did he pick? Who is that? Oh, Deion Jones. He got 90,000 jump. All right, cool. Um, you know, Madden 15, you still had very, very good secondary user control. Now, your middle linebackers and stuff like that, they would slide around and do crazy things, but it wasn't that big of an issue as far as being able to strafe. You could strafe in 15. I think that they went away from it because of the fact that OBJ's catch was the new phenomenon and they wanted to make it better for everybody like that. That was ridiculous. Like his guy didn't react right there, but they wanted to make it better for everybody to be able to enjoy that catch. And that was the front selling. Like that was... That was the whole advertising campaign for EA Sports, was the OBJ catch. So with Madden 16, the way that the game was, that's pretty much what the design was about it, all right? So we have to all get over that, that aspect of it. This year, they toned out. Look, I have, what the, yo, what kind of pick was that? Is that Bob Sanders, though? The dude is like four foot three. All right, whatever. Um, because the OBJ catch was toned down and the Golden Tate catch, when it was like dual catch, I don't think I've seen that catch more than like twice for the entire year. 
because they really make you drop it every time now. That catch in particular in Madden 16 almost killed me three times. I think I died once and I came back. But that catch was more ridiculous than the OBJ catch because I think the, the, the last straw for me in Madden 16 was when the punter OBJ catched me on a fake. When that happened, um, you know, I lost it. You know what I'm saying? I, I really lost it. I don't even remember what happened. I think I got a concussion. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, oh, okay. Well, okay, swerve fail. But regardless of that, you know what I'm saying? Looking forward to the next, you know, Madden 18 and things like that. We're going to be... What is, what is this guy doing? What is, what is he doing right there? I don't understand what's going on. This guy just going to go ahead and just throw me the pick like that? It's it's no way. Let's see, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it was the pressure, because I wasn't even anywhere near him on that play. He just stole the ball. I guess he was always, you know, estimating that the pressure would come, but I didn't send any heat that time, I don't think. I think I zoned him. I think I zoned the blitzer. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but he had mad time. He just threw the ball in the air, bro. It is what it is. But that's what I'm talking about with specific offenses. And again, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to like the video. Now, that's what made the game very upsetting to a lot of people, that if you get like a fourth and 29. I've heard so many, you know, top-tier players say, Oh man, I hate fourth down in long situations because you know what's coming. You know that animation is coming and you can't do nothing about it but bend over, bro. And you better shut up. You just, what the? Did he just grab his helmet and just keep running? Uh, all right, whatever. But yeah, like I said, uh, looking forward to Madden 18, you know, with the frostbite. Hopefully they can tone down, you know, the aggressive catching and, you know, make, make, you know, just make people be able to strafe. If you could strafe and play defense, it'll be a lot less complaints about the game because everybody will have that opportunity to stop. The aggressive catch you know just simple simple as that strafing so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna focus on my viewers we're gonna focus on constructive criticism and you guys are gonna tell me what you want to see in Madden 18 and I'm gonna put it out there on the forefront and I'm gonna get to EA's ear and we're gonna discuss it and we're gonna do our best to make Madden 18 a wonderful experience for everyone um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this really quickly right here tragic number five on the top 100 it is what it is man I'm gonna see you guys next time one love